Good morning, fans. Privateer FX coming at you on a Thursday after the Wednesday Credit Suisse. Uh, I don't know what the fuck kerfuffle uh, we'll call it. Um, what a fucking day yesterday. Christ. Let's first talk about oil. We got skanked. Um, not even a, really a hope in hell. I mean, look at that. You know, we we bought high 70s. We bought 70, uh, 85s on whatever, Tuesday. Sold 72s. So we were kind of a buck in the money. Kind of a, a buck profit. Uh, and then we cleverly bought uh, 70 11s like a fucking drunk elephant uh, falling down a flight of stairs. That was in the money for about six seconds. Um, we bought 6930s. We sold 6960s. Now our average is around, you know, with the profit from the day before, our average is around 69. And six, no, we didn't buy anything on the 69 handle. By the time we like got up from our fall down the stairs, we bought 68.30, so 68.60. So now we're like kind of break even, but we're all fucked. 67.90 was the low. I guess it was this bar. Put my glasses on. Yeah. And we're like, okay, this can't go any further. Perfect. Goes all the way up to 69.21. Um, we're feeling good about it. Put 67.90 stops. Bang. Um, nice slippage there as well. Uh, just total menstrual, menstrual vag situation. Just bloody. Um, bang. Down to 65.60. I guess um, that was not the best call I've ever made. Uh, let's look at another call that kind of sucked, even though it kind of worked. Euro Swiss. We talked about like the fact that the Swiss franc was going to get smacked because uh, Credit Suisse is systemic to Switzerland. Uh, Credit Suisse is probably more systemic to all of you. Also, like most of you probably bank with normal banks. If you have a Swiss franc Nostro. Who do you think the corresponding bank is uh, for, say, like SockGen or BNP or whatever? Uh, I'm betting it's Credit Suisse. I know for a fact at Revolut it's Credit Suisse because we use Revolut here. Um, Credit Suisse is way more systemic than people think. It's way more important than Silicon Valley Bank or Silvergate or Signature Bank. Uh, by the way, who the fuck named that Signature Bank? Um, anyway, um, you know, we were whining like a little baby girl about how Swiss franc was going to get smashed. Meanwhile, Swiss franc went through the roof, traded all the way down 9707, double bottom down there. We were long at 50, uh, just sucking dick, uh. Most of the afternoon, right? So we're fading this euro move. Um, that's not going super well. And we're fading cable. Um, that's not going super well. And we're long euro Swiss. Oil's already kicked us in the balls. Uh, it really looked like it was going to be one of those catastrophic days. Um, and in a sense, we just got lucky, right? Reuters said, oh, this... You know, surely it was the frogs next door, France, who started squawking and saying, can you please, you know, you can imagine the conversation, how it went with France. France is like, listen, you've been fucking us with private banking for like the last 50 years. UBS Paris, there's a big case. But of course, all the French just drive over here and, you know, secretly store their money here. Or they used to. Um, I don't know if they do it anymore, but for 50 years they did that. Uh... And so Francis, now, can you at least not fuck us again with one of your Swiss banks? But if your Swiss bank blows up, you know, you have a hedge fund for a central bank. 
um, just sort this shit out. I'm sure it was the French. Um, could have been, could have been the Krauts, could have been the Germans, but who knows? More like the frogs. Uh, and then bang, right? You just knew there was news when 50 got paid. I was like, oh, great. Break even. And then when 80 was paid, I was like, shit. Did I add? No, I did not add. I was so fucking jaded. Because uh, now Euro's going higher. Cable's going higher. Everything's going higher. Euro yen is going through the roof. <clears throat> but I was so jaded from the day. I just traded like a fucking rookie. Like a leper. Like, uh, you know, tranquilized wildebeest. Um, sold my Euro Swiss up at 45. Uh, just basically to get rid of this fucking day, right? I just needed the day to be over. Sold our cable at 80. Uh, sold uh, our euros at 85. <clears throat> and then the day was over and, you know, we made like two peanut shells uh, and some toenail juice for p and It's just, just really awful, 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 awful. Let's look at Euro. This is a pattern that everyone in the world is drawing. This head and shoulders here. Um, we started to fade this at the fix. We turned and sold 27s in case this was going to be a waterfall. Um, you know, trading the pattern as you would. The low was 15. We bought back through 30, so then we're core long again, but we're core long from 55. It's a fucking mess. Uh, but this this pattern here is still intact. This could happen today. Uh, be aware of this line. There will be um, CTAs and all kinds of people who are going to sell through this. I don't like it as a trade directionally. But you have to respect this pattern. You just know there's going to be selling. Um, what was the low? 15, 16 low. Um, I would say you can sell 24s. Uh, but a conservative person would say wait for 16s. A really conservative person would say wait for 104.82. I like Euro higher. I think Euro's going to 120. I think the bigger problems in the world are in the U.S., I don't think the European banks are in trouble at all. I do think Credit Suisse is in trouble, but they're going to get saved. I think the ECB is going to raise 50 basis points today. So we probably won't see this. But if we do, just be aware of it. Cable. We bought 30s for the, uh, you know, the gap fill. Went down to like, I don't know, 10 so that wasn't going super well. And it wasn't like we wore a shit ton of pain, but we were just so jaded after the crude and Euro Swiss was on its knees. And, uh, you know, man, one of those days. Anyway, the reason I'm saying all this is um, sometimes you have bad trading days. And even if you have bad trading days, sometimes you get lucky. And you have to recognize that. Uh, you can't lean on luck, you know. I should have, uh, you know, got one of my testicles cut off yesterday. In the end, it turned out to be okay, but uh, it has to be noted. You got to put it in the journal. You got to recognize what you did wrong. Uh, you got to recognize where the story fell down, where the execution fell down, and move on. Um, so we are moving on today, although we are traveling to Zurich today at lunchtime. So probably take a rest from the trading, which is also sensible after such a fucking kerfuffle of a day. I'm pulling up Euro Norway here just because we're getting super stretched and it's worth noting. Um, two and a half sigma up here is at 40, uh, 44. I don't know why this isn't... Um, Anyway, it's at 44. Um, this thing's probably worth a fade into 1150, just a big round number. The other one that we like is dollar max. Short dollar max makes, um, 
makes sense to us up near 1120 so you have this high here which is a really nice pivot 1129 so maybe between 1919 sorry it's not 11 it's 19 1919 and 1929 you want to try and put on <coughs> a little fade in dollar mex the mexican economy is doing just fine the global macro you know story there is is actually very strong um, and even though we're a little bit risk off but not really um we like dollar max lower. Let's look at stocks. Um, traded down to thirty eight sixty seven, but then you know, rates around the world. I think, I think European rates. The shats dropped fifty basis points yesterday. Biggest move maybe ever or something. It's fucked. Here's the here's the ten year. Mercy, 250 to 212 for the 10 year. I think uh, these guys have this wrong. Um, European rates are going to sit around three and a half for the foreseeable future, but we'll reconcile that in a little bit. Anyway, stocks with rates super low uh, and basically heading back towards zero with all of this panic, um, stocks are going to be okay don't want to like pile into stocks because there is reason everyone's panicking is because there's so much fucking bad shit uh going on in in the background of the global economy so careful of this but i think this is just going to do nothing right going to go up and down up and down up and down you want to sell this anywhere on the four thousand handle um and we'll be a little bit loath to buy it uh, just because we're a little uncomfortable that side, um, which is usually a good sign, right? That's when you have that much fear, when a sort of a allegedly balanced trader is uncomfortable um, on one side. That means there's usually excess fear. Anyway, dollar max today. If we see a stretch, uh, and Euro Norway also, if we see a stretch, we got ECB this afternoon. I'll be on a train, um, Zurich, for the late afternoon and dinner tonight. I'll see you all tomorrow. Ciao.